do like this. This is a lot of fun, and it's really relaxing too. Did you know there are two ways for us to draw a seven-point star? What's a seven-point star, right? Don't worry, we'll talk about that in the next video. No, just kidding. Of course, we'll do that in this video. But before we talk about the seven-point star, we should talk about the usual stars that we draw, namely a five-point star, like this. And as we can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, five vertices, thus a five-point star. And there are a few interesting things I can tell you. First, when we have these five vertices, there's actually only one way for us to draw a star, this one. Second, if you look at all the angles right here, and this is actually a really famous question, the angle sum is actually going to be 180 degrees. And my favorite way to do this is that if you connect two vertices like so, you can see that we have this triangle here and then another triangle here. These two angles are equal. So when we add this and that together, we will just get what? This plus that. And we form a triangle. Therefore, it's 180 degrees. Notice that I'm not saying this angle is the same as that, nor this angle is the same as that. I'm just saying the sum of this plus that has to be the same as this plus that because we have these two triangle pointing at each other like that. Cool. Now, the third one is what I used to do when I was a kid. I was so fascinated that we can actually draw this star in one go. Like this, it was really cool. But you know, before I learned how to draw the star in one go like this, this is what I used to do. I would just first put down a triangle, and then put down another triangle, and I thought that was pretty awesome. I, I still think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. All right, but this is not a star like that. This is a six-point star. One, two, three, four, five, six. Truth is, when we have these six vertices, we can only draw one star. Again, that one. And then if you look at all the angles, because it's just the sum of two triangles, so you get 360 degrees. And I will have to tell you though, in fact, there's no way for us to finish this star in one go, unlike that one. If you like geometry and want to learn more about it, then you should check out our sponsor today, Brilliant. Brilliant is one of the most popular math and science websites and apps, and they have over 60 interactive courses. Over the past year, they have built a whole new platform that takes interactivity to the next level. This here is from their Mathematical Fundamentals course, and as you can see, the way they demonstrate the Pythagorean theorem just makes learning a lot more fun and engaging. I really like how they believe the best way to learn is by actually doing, not by watching. As a math teacher, I love recommending Brilliant's content to my students to help them learn. They have courses for everyone, ranging from pre-algebra to calculus. Now I would like to recommend it to you as well. You can use the link in the description, brilliant.org slash blackpenrepen, to get a 20% off discount. I want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. I want to thank you for checking them out. Now let's take a look at the seven point star. And to make my life easier, I'm actually going to put a star on the circle. It's easier for me to connect the dots. So here we go. You don't really have to do so. You can just put on like seven points, seven vertices. All right, so I'm trying to make the picture as pretty as possible. So I'm going to give you like a regular version, meaning like equal distance, but you don't really have to do that. You can put this point right here, but I don't think that star will look any cool. Anyway, it's all about connecting the dots. If you connect the dots from here to here, from here to here, that's just a polygon, it's not a star. So what we will do first is we are going to skip this point. So we go from here to here, connect it. And you notice we actually make one, two, two terms. And that's the rule we will just have to follow for the rest. We make one, two terms. So we will go from here to here, and then we just continue with the same fashion. And ladies and gentlemen, this right here is one of the seven point star. And the reason I said one of them is because when we have these seven vertices, we get to have another picture as well. So have a look right here. Still a circle, and let's say we have seven points like so. 
And here's the deal. Earlier we make one, two, two terms to get to the next point. This time let's go ahead and make three. So starting from here, we make one, two, three. So we connect from here to here. And then we continue the same fashion. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. And then do like this. This is a lot of fun. And it's really relaxing too. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is another seven point star. All right, let's talk about some notations first. This right here, we have a total of seven vertices, and then we have two terms each every time. So we put on seven slash two in a brace like this to represent this kind of picture. And of course, this is not my notation. This is called the Schlafly with two dots right here notation. And it's meant to be for this kind of picture. With this notation, this right here will be seven slash three in a brace. Cool. In general, I will just put this down right here real quick. We will have P slash Q. And the Q right here, it's called the turning number. How many terms that we make to get to the next point. Well, you can also call that the density. And of course, P is the number of points or the number of vertices that we have. Now, let's see how can we can have the third picture of this. So I'm going to obtain another one. So still seven points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time though, we will have to draw seven slash four. Let's see what will happen. Mean, this means that we start from here and we make one, two, three, four, four terms, and we just connect from here to here. Do you see what's up with this? Maybe, maybe not, okay, let's continue. One, two, three, four. And we just go from here to here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then like this, and then like this, and then like that. My picture is not the best, but you notice that this right here is actually the same as this right here. And the reason is because notice that if you make one, two, three, four, I know the picture was so bad. We make four terms counterclockwise D. This right here is the same as making one, two, three, making three terms clockwise D. So this and that are actually the same thing. So this right here does not give us another different kind of picture for a star. So we have two ways to draw a seven point star. That's it for the beat. No, just kidding, of course. Let's talk about the angle measures as well. Let's do some more geometry. All right. First thing first, what are the angles? And of course, if you don't look at this as like a regular seven point star, then the angles are going to be different. But it's okay. What's the angle sum up right here? I will tell you the answer is 540. And this is how we can do it. Remember that? We are going to do the same thing right here. We are going to connect two vertices that stay from here to here. All right? So if we do that, then have a look. We actually have a quadrilateral like this. So this right here, we actually have a quadrilateral like this. It's not necessarily a trouble soil, right? But of course, these two angles, they were not in the original picture. Don't worry. What we have to do next is, we are going to connect from here to here. This triangle and that triangle is the same as what we did earlier over there, right? So now you see, this angle and that angle, this angle and that angle, when we add them up, they will be the same as this angle and that angle. Why? Because this and that are equal. So if you take a look right here, we do have this quadrilateral already. So we are accounting for this, this, and then this, this, and that. Now we also have this triangle right here. One, two, three. 
So it's just the blue quadrilateral plus that triangle. And altogether, 360 degrees plus 180 degrees, we get 540 degrees. That's it. All right. Maybe you want to pause the video and think about this one first before we continue. You did it? Good. Answer. 180 degrees. Wow. Okay. Let's see how we can do that. And this is the beauty of uh, putting this on a circle. But uh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's continue this way. So if you want to figure this out, this angle, go ahead and look at this right here. This is an arc from here to here. One fact is that this angle is actually half of the angle measure of this arc. If this is 40, then this will be 20. If this is uh, 90, then this will be uh, 45, etc. Okay, so this angle and that angle, right, they are corresponding. And if you just continue, let's say if you look at this angle here, it will correspond to this right here. Do you see what we are going? Next one, one, two, three. One, two, three. If you go around, you can see that we are also going around the circle. One, two, three. And then it will be like one, two, three. And lastly, I'll put on like a happy face, I will say. And then happy face. We go around a circle. And the beauty is that each of this is half of the corresponding arc. So, you see that when we add up everybody, it corresponds to the whole circle. The whole circle is 360 degrees. Thus, the angle sum is 180 degrees, and we're done. Cool, huh? So that finished the uh, angle sum, which is really cool. But of course, I know you guys want to know the general formula, because what if next, you have to deal with like an eight-point circle. Eight-point star. That, that's later on, of course. Just continue watching the video. Here is another thing. Notice that we were actually able to finish both of these pictures in one go. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to summarize everything for you guys. So here is the first question that we would like to answer. How many stars can we possibly draw given, let's say, P many vertices? Well, let's refer to this right here real quick. This right here, this picture is just six, and then each every time we would one, two, right? Because we connect from here to here, so six slash two. And I claim that's the only one. Likewise, this right here, it will be five slash two. And this is also the only one. Can we try six slash three? Well, no, let's try it, let's try it. Don't just say no before we try, right? So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to do six slash three, you ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's definitely not a star. Unless you really want to just do this. Then, uh, Cutting a pizza or something. I don't know. But that's not a star. You cannot even talk about the angle measure and things like that. So we are not going to talk about this picture at all. If you want to do 6 slash 4, it's the same as this picture, but you go backwards. Because you see, 1, 2, this is the same as 1, 2, 3, 4. So 6 slash 3, it's the same as 6 slash 4. So let's make some observation real quick. Can we do 6 slash 1? No, by what we talked about earlier, this is going to give us just a polygon. So no. So no this one, right? Can we do 6 slash 2? Yes. Can we do 6 slash 3? No, because we talked about it earlier. Can we do 6 slash 4? Yes, but it's actually the same as that, so it's not really new. Can we do 6 slash 5? Well, 6 slash 5, it would be the same as 6 slash 1, so no. And lastly, can we do 6 slash 6? This right here just means that you, you turn 6 point, you, 
you just have a bunch of points, so no. So as you can see, we only have technically one six point star. All right. But for seven, is rather interesting because again we cannot do seven slash one. So this is out of the consideration. Can we do seven slash two? Yes. Can we do seven slash three? Yes. Seven slash four. Well, this is the same as that, so nothing new. Seven slash five. This and that will be the same because again, you make two terms; it's the same as you make five terms in a different direction. Seven slash six. No, because that's not. That's just an original polygon, and then. 7 slash 7 is just again redundant. So we have two pairs, right? So this and that are the same, and this and that are the same. So how many stars can we actually do if you want to have a if you have eight points? Here is the deal. So I'll just put on note right here. It depends if P is even or odd. So first, if P is odd. Well, in that case, let's see. We start with P, and then we have to get rid of the first one and then the last one because they don't count as stars. So P minus 2 because we have the 1 and also P itself. So get rid of these two uh, possibilities. And then we also have to get rid of this because this and that are the same. So just minus one more. Technically, I should say this and that are the same, and then this and that are the same thing. They will give you the polygon, and this right here will give you the point. Either way, <laughs> and then you have the rest, but you will just find you will just pair them up because this is the same as that, this is the same as that, so you divide it by two. So, in another word, p minus three divided by two. So, I'll just write that down right here for you guys. If p is odd, we will have p minus three divided by two possibilities for the stars so let's go ahead and put that down right here so that's the first thing now if p is even let's see over there so start with the number of points again we get rid of the first one and then we get rid of the last one and also get rid of this so technically get rid of three already but let me write it as minus 2 and then minus 1, right? Minus 2, because these two are the same situation, and then minus the last one, so yeah. And we also have to get rid of another one, this one. If P is even, do not go ahead and do right in the middle, otherwise you just get the lines. So 8 slash 4 wouldn't make sense either, so we'll have to just minus 1. And then, the remaining one will be the same. So we'll just divide it by 2. So of course, we can rewrite this better. If p is even, we'll just have p minus 4, and then divide it by 2 stars. I noticed. All right, so that's the general formula for the how many stars that we can, we, we can have. Now, I'm going to perhaps leave this to you guys because the rest is just like a lot of drawing and maybe investigating. Let's talk about the angle sum if you would like. So that's note number one. Let's see note number two. If we have P and Q, of course, both of the numbers matter. And I'm just going to leave this for you guys. You can go ahead and try it out, all right? The angle sum at the vertex angles, angle sum. This right here is going to be 180 degrees because the truth is, yeah, a lot of things are based on triangles, so that will be the hand. You can just make a lot of cuts like the things that we did right here. And you are going to multiply by P minus two times Q. So that will be the angle sum formula, you know, just a little gift for you guys. And I'm just going to verify this with you guys for this one, maybe. So, well, that's easy because 7 minus 6. Let's do it with this one. 
So 7 slash 2, this right here, is this the same as 180 degrees times P7 minus 2 times 2? You bet this, this is 3 times that is 540. 3 triangles pretty much. Yeah. All right? So that's the other one. Lastly, this is also a really fun one. Remember, I told you I love to draw stuff whenever we can do it in one go. So no number three. Again, P and Q matters. Um, if you notice, seven, six slash two, we couldn't do that in one go. Why? Because if you look at it, if you just do six divided by two, you get three, which is a um, triangle. Triangle. Imagine you want to do eight divided by two. So let's say we have eight points. Just to do it real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to do eight divided, eight slash two. So you got this, right? Two, 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 two. It closes. So you have to go to the next point and then start again. So do, 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 do. A quadrilateral, but you have two of them. Just like that, huh? It's not just divided by two. Here. If the greatest common factor or the greatest common divider, the divisor of P and Q, if this is equal to one, then we can draw the star. in one go factorial a slash two well the greatest common divisor is two so you cannot do that and the reason is because you can actually fall into like small pieces and things like that all right so you guys can take a look right here and maybe you can try other ones as well but i think this is a lot of fun yeah one of one of my favorite is definitely drawing the star. And I want to thank, I want to give a special shout out to Stanley because he's the one who told me about the end point stars in general. Because usually we just talk about the five point star, right? And then he gave me, he always asks like such wonderful questions. So Stanley, thank you. And yeah, one of the reasons I don't really do geometry is because you guys can see my drawings, just not the best. And yeah. So let me know if there's anything that you guys would like to know and go ahead and try to prove that and try to draw like some eight point stars if you would like. Yep. <laughs> so as always, that's it.